Hi everyone, this is Daisy and welcome to my channel. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. For today's video, we're going to pot in a pot this dendrobium orchid that I got from my old driftwood. Unfortunately, it got broken already. So I have to save this dendrobium orchid. One of them has flower white and has purple on it. So we are going to use this coco cube as our potting medium for planting this dendrobium orchid in a brown pot. This brown pot has already holes, so let's put a little amount of coco cubes at the bottom part of the pot and then let's take a look at this dendrobium orchid. The flower is color white and a light violet on it. And if you could see the leaf has a lining of brown. I don't know if it is a special kind of orchid. A special kind of dendrobium orchid. Because this orchid doesn't have ID when I bought it. It has been with me for many many years already. I think more than 5 years already or 7 years. Because it is planted in a driftwood, so I can say, based on my experience, that if you plant your orchids, especially dendrobium orchids, and on seedium, which are commonly known as dancing lady, they can really survive for long years or many, many years in a driftwood because their roots can freely grow, there's enough circulation of air. But the only thing you have to do, especially during summer, is to water them every day. Because they need water. Although if you miss watering them every day or a day or two, they can still get moisture in the air. That's why they can still survive. So if you would notice, most of the beautiful orchids can be found in the forest. Because... They can go freely without any intervention from human beings. So that is how I pot my dendrobium orchids in a pot. All you have to do is fill the pot with coco cubes and then put the dendrobium orchids. And of course before you, you pot your dendrobium orchids you have to check the leaves the stem if there are any pests and if it is also possible for you to trim the roots because some of the roots of the orchid can be easily dried so enjoy watching while i pat all of them
and now we're going to pack the scents that I got from the tree food so I found this baby orchid it's so cute so we're going to pat it also in this pot and I found another one with new kitties there and we are going to pot in this pot to these stems of orchid so if the stem is not dry and it's still healthy and if when you cut it there's a green part on the stem this stem can still give you a baby or a new cake that's why i did not throw it so if you happen to grow roots on it they will produce baby so let's see if i can produce cake or babies on this stem so i will pat it in this pot together with the small cake that we have found in the driftwood So now I'm going to show you how I am going to pat this baby of the Dendrobium orchids or it's a very very small cake All I have to do is that collect uh, from the cup cubes the soft part and I will try to cover all the roots of the baby orchids using this soft part of the cocoa cubes and I'm going to put the baby inside the pot where it will be surrounded by soft part of the cocoa cubes also so we're going to do the same thing on this second baby or the small cakes that we have so it's just like that all you have to do is cover it with a soft part of the cocoa cubes and put it in the pot so after we pat all this dendrobium orchid I will let it rest for about 30 minutes and then I will water it already. Not like the succulents that when we pot them, we do not water them for a week or two. But for orchids, it's very safe to water them after potting, especially when the root part that you cut is already dry. So that's what I always do with my orchid, but it works for me based on my experience so we're almost done potting them we made four pots of dendrobium orchid i hope they can grow and healthy and they can give us babies i hope they can give us flowers so let's see what kind of what color flowers do they have So it's time to water them. This is how I water it. I give them a big splash of water.
I want to give an update also on the Oncidium and Palaenopsis orchid that we have potted last week. So here they are. I put them inside the garage area where they can receive sunlight. Bright shaded area only. So since I potted them, it's been... I think 3 days or 4 days already but I haven't watered them again because when I check their pot they are still moist so it's safe not to water them because they might get root rot so I'll be waiting until they completely dry before I water it. And before I end my video, I wanted to flex the channel of my members, Ate Roxy. Bit Pinay Journey. Aileen De La Cruz Vlog. Josephine Bauyon Jeremy Hermano Please do not forget to subscribe to their channel and click the notification bell so you will always be updated whenever we have new video. So that's all for today's video guys. I hope you like my sharing for today. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and share my video to your family, friends, and relatives. Bye for now. See you on my next video. Bye. God bless us all. Bye.